Hello all and welcome back to another Smite uh, review video. Today I will be doing the Skadi Goddess of Winter, the Norse Goddess. She is a ranged uh, physical or hunter if you want. And I will be going through the lore and her abilities in the next few minutes. I hope you guys will enjoy it and I'm really really sorry for only one video because I had some problems with my tracks and uh, films that I filmed and it got deleted so sorry about that but here is the Scuddy review enjoy lore full of mirth rang the hells of Asgard celebrating the gods drank of maid and feasted on roasted beast, while the corpse of their defeated foe, the Jotun Khyadzir, lay cold nearby, for decades were they at odds. Now that conflict was ended, Odin and his ilk openly boosted of their achievements, laughing and cheering while the floor ran wet with spilled spirits. Then the doors swung wide, breathing icy winter wind across the hall. There she stood, spear in hand, skin, porcelain, pale, clad in snow-dusted furs, and eyes blue as glacier ice, but smoldering with vengeful fire. Skadi, the Jotun's daughter, had come. Transfixed by her beauty, the gathered gods sought to dissuade her from violence, as a Symbol of honor, Odin cast the eyes of her father into the heavens to twinkle as stars for eternity. Skadi was not moved. A life for a life, she demanded. It was Loki that softened her heart with humor and dance. So jovial was he that at last her frozen features cracked a smile. A wedding, Odin declared, Skadi would marry a god and so herself become a goddess. This would be her payment for the life of her father. Now warmed to them, Skadi agreed. Blindfolded, she was to choose her husband by only his feet. Eligible men came forth and Skadi made her choice. Their, their marriage did not last. Njord was a god of summer and Skadi a goddess of winter. After a few years, they amicably parted ways. Skadi Returned to the snow-caped mountain of her youth, but without her father or husband, she soon grew lonely. War spread of war between the Pantheons, Odin and Loki, Njord and Ullr. These gods were her family now, and Skadi would not lose the only family she had left. And now to her abilities. Passive, Calder, the Winter Wolf. Calder fights by Skadi's side and has two forms, beast and elemental. While in beast mode form, he can attack enemies and be attacked. While elemental, he is immune to attack and regenerates health over time. His forms can be controlled with Skadi's rune of the hunt, but he will be forced into elemental form if he loses all hit points. He has five hit points. Moose speed is 110 of Skadi's and Attack speed is 50% of Skadi's, uh, lane minion damage 1 HP loss per 5 hits. Ability type Summon Pet. Her first ability is Pressing Cold. Skadi throws an icy spear forward, dealing damage to enemies and slowing them for 3 seconds. Calder basic attacks deal double damage to targets afflicted by Pressing Cold. Damage goes from 90 to 290 plus 80% of your physical power. And the cost goes from 70 to last level 90 mana. And the slow goes from 20 to 40%. Cooldown is 15 seconds. Her second ability, Rune of the Hunt, is a toggle. Skadi marks an enemy for Calder to hunt. While toggled on, Calder assumes beast form, chasing and attacking the marked enemy. 
If a marked enemy dies, Calder attacks other enemies nearby. When Togo off, Calder stops attacking and returns to Skadi, reverting to his elemental form on the way. This ability can be activated at rank 0 and Calder gains new skills as it ranks up. Basic attack damage is 50 to 90% of Skadi basic attack. Uh, at uh, rank 1, Calder gains a dash attack. At rank 3, Calder kills heals him. At rank 5, Calder attacks give Skadi 10% increased movement speed. Ability type is a pet command and cooldown is 5 seconds. Cost none. Her third ability is called Permafrost. Skadi freezes the ground for 5 seconds at the target location. The icy area deals damage to enemies that touch it and continues to deal additional damage every 0.5 seconds. They stay on it. Gods who step on the ice are slowed and lose control of their movement while sliding across. Also, skating movement speed increases by 25% while standing on the area. Damage goes from 70 to 190 plus 60% of your physical power. Slow is 15%. Ability type is ground target and cost goes from 70 to 90 mana. Damage per tick is 5 to 25 plus 5% 5 of your physical power and also the radius increases with the level from 16 to 24. Her ultimate is called Winter's Grasp. Snowstorm surrounds Caddy and Calder. Upon activation, enemies in range become rooted and Calder is restored to full health. The storms persisted for 4 seconds while dealing damage to enemies every 0.5 seconds and making Calder immune to damage. Damage per tick is 10 to 50, plus 5% 5 of your physical power. Root duration goes from 1 to 2, po 2 seconds. So, and radius is only 20. Cooldown 90 seconds and mana goes from 80 to 120. And my conclusion about this god is well, I don't really like her because she misses the escape ability or probably a stun ability that could help you easily escape from the enemies. And I'm a little bit out of practice with Hunter, so probably that's why I'm not really liking her right now. But maybe in the future I will be playing it more and we will see how will uh, work then thanks for watching guys and see you next time bye bye